Yo, what's up guys, Lungi here. So today I'll be showing you a brand new Fire King combo. So we're gonna be using the Snake Eyes cards and Diabal Star for this combo uh, because thanks to Ponyx, there's now some really nice synergy with uh, Snake Eyes and Fire Kings. Uh, so this is a two card combo. So first off, you wanna activate Tinky. Right, so we will search for Bronk and then we will activate Hunter Fiend right and then we will search for Diabal Star uh, and then we will send the Tenki to the graveyard and special summon Diabal Star uh, and then we will use its effect to set Sinful Spoils Snake Eyes so now you can send Diabal Star to the graveyard and you can summon Snake Eye XL. So the reason why we're summoning Snake Eye XL is because we want to use his effect later on in the turn. Um, but also you have like an extra body on the field for link plays. So we'll activate his effect and we will search for our new guy, Ponyx. So uh, we will normal summon the Ponyx and then we will use his effect to add Sanctuary. All right, once we have Sanctuary, we'll activate it. And then that would allow us to activate Viking Island straight from the deck. So at this point, uh, you'll activate Island and then you will destroy your Barong. And then you'll add High Avatar, uh, Viking High Avatar Gurunix, Sacred Gurunix. Uh, so we will summon it and then we will use its effect to destroy another barong in the deck so we want two barongs because during the standby phase we want to get two searches so we want to search for Kirin and we want to search for uh, Ganesh uh, for combos on our opponent's turn uh, so now at this point you can activate exile's effect and then you can send your sanctuary to the graveyard and then we will summon Flamberg. All right, so now we'll use Flamberg's effect, and then we will put Diabal Star in the Spell and Trap zone. So we're doing this so that we can summon it on the opponent's turn, and then we can do some other combos on their turn with uh, Diabal Star. So now you'll use your Ponyx and your Sacred Kurunix to make IP uh, Masquerina. And then one of the last things you'll do is you activate Hunter Fiend in the graveyard uh, to put back your Snake Eyes card and then you'll draw one card and then uh, you will end your turn. So this doesn't look like much at this point. So you do have your one uh, Disruption mas uh, Mascarena uh, can go into a Link 4 because you're going to summon uh, Diabol Star and then you get two searches. But the strength of the deck comes with being able to play on the opponent's turn. So on the opponent's turn, uh, you can make a lot of different plays. All right, so we're in our turn. So standby phase, we can activate uh, Flamberg and then we will summon Diabol Star. And then we'll use Diabol Star's effect. And then we will set uh, Sinful Spurs Snake Eye. Uh, you're only playing one copy of it because I chose to play one one copy of this and then like two copies of Diabal Star because Diabal Star is better to draw than this card um, because you need to send something that's already on the field to activate this effect. But Diabal Star, you send something from your hand, summon it, you set this, and then you send the Diabal Star with this card. So that's why um, at this point I'm only playing one of this. Uh, okay, so now we can activate the Baronixes, the Barongs in the graveyard. So we'll add Hyavadar Kirin. It's the most important search. So that's why we search for it first, and then we add Arvata. Right, so we have six cards in our hand. So, so now we're in the main phase. So the opponent can do like they can do like a bunch of stuff. So. Uh, we're gonna wait until 
they show us what deck they're playing and then we have a number of options in the extra deck uh, for example once it comes out in the tcg you'll have little knights which can banish any card on the field uh, or the graveyard and then can also uh, banish itself and some other monster on the field as a second interruption uh, you could go for like phoenix as well but it's much weaker than uh, little knight uh, you could go for Apollosa or you could go for uh, Underworld Goddess. So for now, uh, we'll just go into Apollosa. Alright, so we'll use Mascarena and then we'll go into Apollosa for three. All right, so at this point, uh, Flamberg can trigger and Diabalstar can trigger. So we'll make Flamberg first and then Diabalstar second. Okay, so we'll send the Sinful Spoil Snake Eyes with Diabal Star. And then we will summon Ponyx and Exile from the graveyard. Alright, so we'll put Ponyx here so because we're gonna destroy him. And then we'll put Exile over there. Alright, so we'll chain block the Ponyx because its effect is more important. Alright, trigger Exile. Alright, Exile will add Kurikara. We'll follow up and then uh, with Ponyx we will search for Circle of the Fire Kings right so now we have a lot of cards in hand um, so the main reason why you set this card and then send it again is because on your opponent's turn uh, you can banish it from the graveyard put this card back in the deck because you're only playing one and then you can use exiles effect to summon it again uh, use it as removal remove something from the field and put it in the spell and trap zone and then you can trigger its effect again um, by linking it away or destroying it with island and then you get to summon your two cards back and then since it's your turn again you can trigger their effects again so yeah that's some really 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 good follow-up okay so right so opponent can do some stuff maybe they activate a card and then you negate with Apollosa or whatever. So if they try to attack over Apollosa, uh, if they try to go into battle phase, so now you activate your Kirin. So you have to destroy Arvata, right? So you can destroy Arvata and then you can summon the Kirin. All right, so we won't trigger Arvata's effect. So we'll trigger Garunix's effect. And then we will special summon it and then we will use its on field effect and we will destroy the Kirin that's on the field because our zones are clogged up. We'll trigger Kirin's effect and then we'll summon Alvata. And then we can destroy whatever monster that we're planning on using to attack over Apollosa. Okay. So when you trigger this effect, if they activate an effect, you can destroy Ponyx and then it will come back in your. Uh, standby phase So all right, so the opponent does some stuff or not But we have some crazy advantage here as you can see all Right, so let's imagine that we stop all their stuff and then they in their turn all Right, so it's in phase so in the draw phase uh, what you want to do all Right what you want to do in the draw phase is you want to destroy Ponyx and then what you can do is revive Kirin so destroy Ponyx revive Kirin so you're doing this because you can just a few moments later brave out effects and then you can add it back to your hand uh, yeah so basically you know summon this for free essentially um, at this point you should have enough for game um, but before we do anything we can do this put Flamberg back add another Ponyx All right so now we can use this effect use Excel's effects uh, you can sack Garonix 
and then you can summon Flamberg from the deck. We can use its effect to remove whatever monster if they have a monster on the field. Uh, so this will be lower than 2400. Um, but you have a number of monsters on the field, so if you really want to, you can also just like link it away into like Axis Code Talker and then target the Apollosa and chain block everything under it. And then Axis Code will be at 6300 attack. Um, but all of this is enough for game. You can literally just do nothing and then just attack for game. But if they have some stuff on the field, you'll just normal summon the Ponyx. Normal summon the Ponyx, add Immolation. So you have one, two, three. So you can remove three of their cards. Uh, and then you can actually summon back three monsters. Kirin's effect, Avata's effect, and the in-hand uh, Ponyx's effect. So pop three of their cards, you still get three cards back. Um, for, yeah, you still get three cards back. And then you can still attack them for game so yeah this is just from like the two card combo yeah it's it's really really crazy how much advantage you can you can gain um simply by like combining the sinful sp spoil cards you know the new Ponics and and fire kings it's really really nuts so that's uh that's essentially the combo this is a working deck list so you're only playing one flamberg you don't really want to draw it then two two Gurunix. Uh, you have to play two two is mandatory. Uh, triple Kirin. Uh, I think that's pretty much self-explanatory at this point. Like Kirin is one of your like uh, best cards to to trigger your effects, uh, being a quick effect. And then I'm playing two Diabol Stars. I don't think you need need three. Yeah, you don't need three, and it's also not a fire, so two is fine. And then Arvata, three Arvata. It's one of the best cards to 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 like search of tanky or to normal summon if you don't have a a Ponyx, uh, because you can normal summon it and then that insulates you from hand traps. Uh, you're playing two two Barongs because a lot of your combos will um, involve like you know destroying Barong twice. You don't need three. You don't need three. And I was playing one copy when I was doing some play testing. And uh, yeah, they banished the single copy and then I needed it. I needed to destroy it at some point, but I couldn't because the one copy was banished. So I think two copies are fine. And then one copy of Hanuman, uh, you only really need like more copies against back row decks. Uh, and also like he doesn't trigger if he's destroyed, which is a real bummer. So one copy is fine. And then three Ash, or one copy of Kurikari, you can search for it pretty easily. You're searching so many times in this deck, like searching for level ones, that it's nice to have like an extra one, so you don't have like you know a handful of like Ponix. Um, all right, so the one XL, it's very very good to to like normal summon. Yeah, yeah, it's good to normal summon because you normal summon it, and then you can add uh, Ponix to your hand. Uh, but you will need some other some other way of like getting your 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 plays started. But instead of just having the one card summon this and then you you search for Ponyx. Um, it's also better to to summon off of uh, Sunful Spoil Snake Eyes than, than Ponyx because you can go into you know Flamberg and go uh, do some nice link plays so you can generate some very nice advantage with it. So obviously Triple Ponyx best Fire King card uh, not by far not by far because you know Kirin is extremely good and so is so is Gurunix but I think Ponyx tied the deck together very nicely and then you know yeah triple crawl and then you only need one copy of this card because you have to send a face-up card you control you can't play more copies but i don't i don't yeah it just feels like too too redundant you know in my in my opinion because you have one two three four five six seven eight nine copies of ponix um and essentially 15 copies of viking island um, if you like, I guess you could take away two of these and then play three. But I kind of like Viking Island as, as a starter, destroying a fire in your hand and then you know, getting Garunix to get your play started. I do like that. Um, you do have some options. You could also just take one of these and then play two if you want. 
so I think that that might be like a, a good compromise one copy of circle you can search for it so easily now it's so nice uh, you don't need more copies I think Chopo, I think Chopo is mandatory and then one immolation just to just for removal Chopo Tenki and then Sanctuary it could be two copies of Sanctuary more copies of this uh, you do have some flexibility and then uh, three copies of, of Fire King Island yeah I think you still need to like in max out maximize on it uh, even with even with Ponyx and then the extra deck uh, Zeus Pain Gainer uh, one eternity you only need one um, Tengirsu Tiger King Underworld Goddess Axis Apollosa Selene Selene is very nice now that you we have like Diabell Star and uh, this is also a spell caster so you can use this uh, heat is a spell caster you can use this so you can easily make uh, Selene and then summon this back use its effect effect to set this and then you can get to Ponyx who gets to Viking Island and get your engine started like that so that's very very nice that is so so good so so good for fire kings uh, one phoenix hita uh, sunlight wolf uh, very good uh, just summon sunlight wolf uh, you can get fires during your turn and during your opponent's turn uh, for getting back advantage it's very nice uh, sp little knights amazing card mascarena and then uh, enema to punish people that put cards in the wrong zone uh, and then we have a tentative side deck right so that is the deck so far uh, i will be uploading some some play testing and i will play test against like real deck real decks so i'll play test against the meta decks in the tcg just to see how this deck fares and it's coming out this weekend in the ocg and i think i will be uh, picking up the cards uh, i really want like the secret rare versions of the cards and hopefully i can play it at locals on monday all right so that's it for the video thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and i will see you next time